In this lecture, I'm going to talk about logging with FluentD. Logging is important to show errors, information, and debugging data about the application. When you only run one application, it is pretty obvious how to look for the logs. You would just open the app log file to see what is going on, or if deployed as a pod with kube control logs. With Kubernetes, one application will be running as one or many pods. Finding an error will be much more difficult. What pod do you have to look at? Up until now, you might have been using kube control logs to get the log details of a pod. To get the correct information, you might have to look up the pod name first, then the container name, and then run kube control logs for every container in every pod that is running for an application. Just to note, you can use kube control log and you can use kube control logs. A log or logs is both valid. The solution for this problem is to do log aggregation. It's not something Kubernetes specific, it is already applied for years, even with syslog, which is a standard for message logging since the 1980s. Log aggregation is nowadays often implemented with more modern tools. Rather than using syslog, you can use more modern tools. One of those tools is the Elk stack, Elasticsearch with Logstash and Kibana. There are also several hosted services like Logly and papertrailapp.com. Here you have a distinction between self-hosted, which can be the Elk stack, or a hosted service, which you can use to just send your logs to and they will do the processing for you. I will show you how to set up centralized logging using FluentD which will be used for log forwarding, Elasticsearch, which will be used for log indexing, Kibana for visualizations. Kibana is just a UI where you then can visualize the logs. And optionally, you can use Logtrail, which is an easy to use UI to show the logs. Logtrail is a plugin for Kibana. This solution can be easily customized. You can create custom dashboards to show what is important for you.